Entrepreneurship is ingrained in Patrice Philippine Mosepi's very bones. The mining magnate, who was born in South Africa, appears to have a natural aptitude for business, right from the start. Given his achievements in the mining sector and the business world, it is not difficult to believe that he possesses all of the so-called animal spirits, which, according to the eminent British economist John Maynard Keynes, motivate entrepreneurs and enable them to make financial decisions, such as buying and selling securities, during difficult or uncertain economic times. As the founder of the diversified company African Rainbow Minerals Limited, which has interests in gold, ferrous metals, base metals, and platinum, Mosepi's personal fortune is estimated to be in the region of $2.7 billion. And although this has been a subject of debate, Patrice was listed as the first black African to have a personal fortune of at least $1 billion. He is a lawyer by profession and became the first black person to be promoted to partner at the renowned South African law firm Bauman and Gilfillan shortly after South Africa became a democracy in 1994. Patrice Mosepi has relied a lot on his shrewd ability to discern the signs of the times and seek out opportunities to profit from them. Do you know that at a certain high point in his life, his booting businesses and smart investments fetched him so much wealth that it enabled him to purchase a South African football club? In addition to this, he was elected the President of Confederation of African Football, which is the governing body of football on the African continent. Join us in our video as we unveil the inspiring biography of Patrice Mosepi and how he became rich. Be sure to give the video a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more future videos. Mosepi comes from a well-established family in Garankiwa, a rural region close to Pretoria in South Africa where people who speak the Tswana dialect originate, which would account for the middle name Flopini. His father, Kosi Augustine Mosepi, was the chief of the Tswana Maka tribe. He had previously held positions as a school teacher and the owner of a popular spaza shop among black mining workers. Now, because young Mosepi spent most of his time during the summers off from school helping out at the shop with his father, it is believed this became the source and key to unlock his innate entrepreneurial potential. Mosepi, who was born on January 28, 1962, had a comparatively affluent upbringing and went to a Catholic boarding school in the Eastern Cape province of South Africa. Mosepi earned a Bachelor of Arts degree from the University of Swaziland and a Bachelor of Laws degree from the University of the Witwatersrand. In 1993, he joined the law firm Bauman and Gilfillan, eventually becoming the firm's first black partner shortly after 1994. In 1991 and 1992, he worked as a visiting attorney at the United States law firm McGuire, Woods, Battle, and Booth. However, all the while he was with the Bowmans, Patrice developed a strong interest in mining and devoured all available mining literature. So when he felt the time was right, the shrewd investor left Bowmans to start his first mining venture, Future Mining, which was a contract mining services business that he operated out of his briefcase for eight months, according to reports. This happened in 1994. Patrice Mosepi founded African Rainbow Minerals in 1997, and approached seasoned mining executive Bobby Godsell with his idea to acquire Anglo Gold's loss-making mines in the hopes of turning them around after discovering a surefire method to do so. But in order to run their loss-making mines in Orkney, Mosepi had to and was able to obtain a vendor financing loan from Anglo Gold. The invention of African Rainbow Minerals Gold was indeed a testament to Patrice Mosepi's brilliance. He acquired marginal gold mines from Anglo Gold in 1997 during a period of low gold prices and favorable financing circumstances. For $7.7 million, Anglo Gold sold Mosepi six gold mine shafts, 
enabling him to pay back the debt with future profits from the business that is now known as African Rainbow Minerals. This was replicated in other transactions, and Mosepi established a company to start purchasing the active mines that would eventually become the source of his wealth. Together with two of his colleagues, he founded Green and Partners Investments in 1999. Patrice Mosepi merged his major gold mining business, African Rainbow Minerals Gold, with Harmony Gold in 2003, and the business became known as ARM Gold. He then went on to buy Anglo of All Mining in 2004. In 2004, Mosepi was appointed chairman of the newly reorganized ARM, and by 2006, the business had expanded into coal mining in addition to gold and other metals, according to Britannica. He became a billionaire in 2008, and according to Forbes magazine, is the first black African to achieve the accolade. Because of his increasing wealth, Mosepi was able to buy a 51% stake in the Mamelodi Sundowns Association football team in 2003, and the following year he fully took over the organization. Patrice Mosepi hasn't slowed down one bit. He's kept expanding his portfolio of businesses, which now includes financial services thanks to his investment in Sanlam, a significant player in South African insurance. Patrice Mosepi, you see, has demonstrated over the years that he is a natural entrepreneur, and this has been evident throughout his life. Because just as all successful entrepreneurs are visionaries who seek out opportunities and commit to them until they bloom, Patrice has been astute in seizing his. He is one of the primary beneficiaries of the second wave of Black Economic Empowerment Initiatives, at a time when hordes of Black Empowerment Organizations were founded by people with strong political connections in South Africa. The Black Economic Empowerment Regulations that were implemented following the 1994 elections were crucial in securing Mosepi's position in South Africa's mining sector. This was because a company could not be granted a mining license unless at least 26% of its stock was owned by black people. Patrice Mosepi epitomizes the success of South Africa's black economic empowerment policy, which emerged around 1995 and his African Rainbow Minerals has been one of the most fruitful black economic empowerment stories. But while this is true, African Rainbow Minerals has overwhelmingly outgrown the label of black economic empowerment. Only a handful of initiatives for black economic empowerment remain that have withstood the test of time, and Patrice Mosepi's African Rainbow Minerals Limited is one of them. With the right kind of strategy, Mosepi learned from his experience that less productive mines could be transformed into successful businesses. For him, low base pays for mine workers combined with production bonuses was his remedy for older, less productive mines. This justifies Mosepi and ARN limited superior performance among the black empowerment organizations that have withstood the test of time. Since he began operating mines, Mosepi developed a formula that turned struggling, loss-making mines around and into profitable ones. While Mosepi worked directly with his company's operations, other black economic empowerment players were content to simply hold passive investments in businesses where their influence was negligible. With operations in South Africa, Zambia, and Canada, African Rainbow Minerals has moved beyond the Black Economic Empowerment label to become a full-fledged diversified mining company. In 2002, Mosepi received South Africa's Best Entrepreneur Award. He was ranked 39th among the Great South Africans by the South African Broadcasting Corporation in 2004. In 2019, he was listed as the 962nd richest person in the world and the third richest South African. As of December 2022, Mosepi has a net worth of $2.7 billion.
In addition, in 2016, he founded the ARM Capital, a private equity firm focused on investing in Africa. His wife, Dr. Precious Molloy, is a medical doctor by profession, but now manages the family's charitable efforts. Also, Mosefi was elected president of the Confederation of African Football, the African continent's football governing body, where he is still president today. So there you have it, the inspiring biography of Patrice Mosefi and how he became rich. If you enjoyed this video, watch also the next one on your screen, which looks at the 17 richest black billionaires and how they made their wealth. Be sure to leave a comment, give the video a like, and subscribe to the channel for more intriguing video content.